this car like I'm about to go on a roller coaster and we'll have him tell me what I'm in for right now. Look, it's uh, completely different to what we had before. Um, as I said, the car is obviously lighter. The torque is uh, very early in this car. So uh, everything will be much harder. You will see the reaction times are completely different to the, to the standard car. And we will approach corners, you will think, uh, hang on, we should have uh, braked 100 meters before. Uh, but uh, still accelerating. So yes, the brakes are completely different to the standard car. And uh, the whole experience, I think, yes, you mentioned roller coaster, I think uh, it will not be dissimilar to that. Well, I've got a nappy on, so hopefully that will keep things in. Just keep my car dry, my feet will just do straight dry as well. Let's go for it. Okay, let's go. so fast that the audio equipment actually stopped recording. That's how fast and brutal this machine is. So tell me about you said you said previously I'm one of the first guys to go around the track in one of these GTR machines. Why is that? Well look it's it's uh, this car is very unique. It was the first built by Nismo on the on the base uh, GTR road car. So the first race car it says Nismo plate number one so the car is quite unique in that respect. We only fitted the seat, uh, finished the seat fitting yesterday for you. So I can almost categorically tell you that uh, you are the first passenger in a race GTR uh, probably anywhere in the world. So uh, quite unique experience for you. Fantastic. The car is also without any, maybe you felt a little bit of it on the track. There's no traction control devices on the car. Going a bit sideways, yeah. So you, you do need to manhandle the car. There's no no electronics helping you out of the out of the situation. What the power figures are we looking at with this car? This, making? this car probably makes the same power as the standard car, but it makes it a thousand RPM sooner. So it kicks in, and, and probably you felt that the acceleration is a is a lot more brutal than in the standard car. And the torque figures are also way up. So exits out of the corners, etc., are basically instantaneous and. Uh, what I can say is that after going for three laps in this car, I'm physically exhausted. Not only is my sound device and camera probably suffering, I'm suffering too. So uh, thank you for that drive. And uh, yeah, it's going on the photo shoot now. Absolutely. Thank you. Right. Thank you.